I'm Caleb with the CGDC community game, Dreams and Nightmares. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate your game with Steamworks. Now Steamworks is a great solution for multiplayer games, which have that peer-to-peer -peer style where people host games and other people join them, but for people who don't want to have to set up port forwarding. Steamworks does not require port forwarding to be set up on anyone's computer. So this allows for much more flexibility when creating these types of games. So to start, I've set up a project with Mir, Steamworks.net, and Fizzy Steamworks all installed. This is all of the things we will need in order to get our game working with Steamworks. I've also created a basic script which handles the connection to Steamworks using the Steamworks.net and Mir libraries. Now this script basically consists of three callbacks and one function. The three callbacks handle the connection to Steamworks, and the one, call, one function here handles hosting games on Steamworks. Now today we're going to create a game that you can invite your friend to join over Steam. Now there are other ways we can do this, such as having a list server available with a list of games, but this is much more complicated. So as you can see here, we have our network manager, and I've also added a quick button here. This is to host a Steamworks game. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to disable this HUD here, and we're going to remove the KCB transport. We're going to add Fizzy Steamworks, and we are going to add our Steam Lobby script that we just took a look at. These two scripts will handle the connection and joining games via Steamworks. We are going to change the transport to our Steamworks. Now we are ready to add this button here, and we are going to update this button to host a lobby when it is clicked. So now when this button is clicked, it will host a Steam lobby, which can be in which we can invite players to to join. Now after saving, we can click play, and obviously we should be able to host a Steam lobby. And as you can see, we have now created a game utilizing Steamworks. All right guys, so this is Joseph. I'm also part of the team for Dreams and Nightmares, so with how Caleb has this set up to integrate Steamworks, I have to open this, this project and we have to go into Steam and add a non-Steam game to the library. And so you have to basically do that, find the exe file for the project that you created and add it as a non-Steam game. And once you do that, you can once you've integrated the game with Steam itself, other Steam players that you play with can invite you to join their game. So that's what Caleb is about to do for me. Okay, so I'm about to press host Steamworks here and now invite you to my game. Cool, cool. There we go. As you can see, we are connected. This is amazing. So as you guys can see, it's actually really easy with a few basic scripts and a couple clicks and you can easily add Steamworks to your project. This is just a great way to bypass port forwarding and make it simple for people who are playing your project to be able to join other players. The only catch is you only will be able to do this through Steam, but for a lot of players, that's going to be sufficient for them to enjoy the game to a full extent. So thank you guys for checking out this video. We are eager to hear what you guys think about this and really excited to see if you guys use this in any of your projects. With that said, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content coming soon. Check out the game we're developing right now, Dreams and Nightmares. And with that said, you guys have a fantastic day.